Hello my friends, you've got Robin Ann here and today I'm making another sweet treat and I owe this one out to Miss Rita with Rita's Roost. You guys, this is going to be so yummy. I'm doing a little cheat because I always tell you, you do you and you do what you've got in your pantry. So stay tuned and let's see how we make these wonderful fried apple pies. <laughs> So much for tuning in today if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do because we do recipes like this sometimes they're low carb and sometimes they're not like today but this is going to be a really simple easy recipe and a YouTube friend of mine uh, at least I'd like to call her call her a friend her name is Rita and she has a YouTube channel and it's called Rita's Roost I will try my best to put a link in the description to her channel also wonderful homestead channel and she kind of challenged me to make my mother some fried pies i do believe she made blackberry don't get upset with me miss rita if i said that wrong but i think that's what she made and she made it all the way from scratch all the way her that meaning uh, her pie crust that you make the pies out of even the filling mm, the, that just looks so yummy well, today, um, I'm going to make my mom some apple, fried apple pies. And this is where I got the inspiration is from Rita. And But I'm going to do a little cheat. Forgive me, Rita. I'm actually going to use some canned biscuits because, hey, a lot of people have canned biscuits in their refrigerator and they might want something sweet. And you don't always think about odd things that go together that you don't think about going together when you want to make something sweet. Just like with this can of grand, I'm sorry, this is not the grand biscuits, these are the flaky biscuits. I want to use the flaky biscuits. You can use the grands. I'm going to use the flaky ones because I want that flakiness to come out of them. When I say flaky, it's the kind that, you know, they kind of peel back. It's just a small can. We're not going to make a lot of them. And then you can use any pie filling you want. I'm going to use apple. Now, like I said, you can make up some. You Please tell me down in the comments, what's your favorite type of pie? This is one of my favorites. It's one of my mom's favorites. Uh, guys, this is going to be good. But you can put any kind of filling in this pie crust. In this pie crust. In this pie. It's not. It's a pie crust, but you're going to fold it into a little envelope. But you know what? Let's get started instead of staying here and just jibber jabber jabbing. Okay? <clears throat> Again, this is just one of the small cans you can use whatever size can don't matter get them bad boys open and you know the funnest part about these give them a whack <laughs> all right oh don't want to drop them there y'all okay just go ahead and get you one of these now <clears throat> i've got me some flour here a nice clean counter and then we're going to put a little bit of flour down okay so that we can work this biscuit you can kind of spread it out just a little bit with your hands because they're not real tacky. But then you want to get a little bit of flour in them to give them a little bit of girth because guess what we're going to do? We're going to get to use this thing right here. And no, it ain't going to be on anybody. It's going to be on here. We're going to just get a little roll going. Okay? Now, you don't want these extremely thick by no means. You want them nice, kind of thin. Okay, and this a little bit more flour there. Can you see me okay there? Let me let me tilt you down just a little bit, just a little bit, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just making a little pie, y'all. Just a little circle, just making that circle a little bit bigger. And if you get kind of intimidated from these, you don't have to <clears throat> just to do give a little bit of a uh, little bit here and a little bit there. Okay, I'm I'm sorry about the ding ding I got going on here. I like got all my stuff in the way. Okay, we've got that bad boy pressed out there. Now, let me tell you what I've got with my filling here. I do have quite a bit of flour, but I've got it away from here, not on this anymore. <laughs> uh, I have apple pie filling. It's from a can. I did put it on the stove. I did add just a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cinnamon just to give it a little bit more flavor and kind of cook them a little bit. And I also chopped the apples just kind of in half just so they're a little bit more 
easy to chew and bite into when you get these bad boys, okay? Now, we got that all pressed out there. Okay, now, you're just gonna take a little bit of filling. Again, any type you want. Put the right in the middle there. Right in the middle. Let me get another little apple. Another little piece of apple. Don't wanna overfill it, okay? Because I'm good for that. Let me press that flour out of the way, y'all, so I can get a hold of it. Okay, now you're just going to, when you see me, you're just going to take, bring it up and bring it over and fold it. Now, something I did kind of forget, let me, before I do that, it's already a little wet, but that's what you need. There's a little bit of wetness around there. Just a little bit of wetness. There we go. So, so that it, it'll be tacky, so it'll stick. I do apologize. I should have done it right off the bat. There we go. There we go. Okay, see how I've got like a little... Can you see the moon shape? <laughs> I'm going to press that out a little bit. Because now that I've got that sealed around here, to give it more sealing... Okay, y'all, I kind of like picked this up and moved that flour back a little bit because I wanted to make sure I got this good and pressed down. You want to take the time you have to. Don't overfill these bad boys, but make sure you get a good seal. And then after you've got it pressed down like that, make sure, like I said, do make it wet. It helps. Take your fork. Extra measures. Around that bad boy. Now, I did see someone... Do something else I should try, and I've not done that, is they actually folded it to get that extra seal. And that's what I'm wondering. Maybe that would be a good idea. We'll do the next one that way. Okay? And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's put this one. I should have got a little plate. Here's a plate. Okay? Because we got to get our oil together. Yes, I said oil. Okay, let's do another one here. Okay, give me just a second here. Okay, we're going to take another one. My hands got a little bit of this already on. This being flour. Okay. Give it a little bit of sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And get a little press in there. I'm going to get this one rolled out and I'm going to show you another method that I saw I'm kind of anxious to try see what seals in the best okay Alrighty. now you can make your own dough if you want it's even better that big roll there okay now you know this is the first time I've ever made them <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm kind of even experimenting. So let's put a little bit in the center there. Just a little bit more. I don't want to overfill it. Come on off my spoon. The good's on the spoon, y'all. Okay, there we go. Okay, now. Now. Now, I'm not going to forget this time. I got a little dish here. I'm going to wet around the edges, y'all. Just a little wet, wet, wet. It helps it seal. I didn't do that on the other one. So, yeah. And then, again, I'm going to show you another way of folding it. So, I hope you're staying tuned, y'all. It's worth it. Come on. All right, now. I'm going to grab hold of that. And I'm going to fold it. Oh, yeah. See, y'all. Make sure you wet it. Learn from me. And make sure you wet that bad boy and press that down. Now, since I've got plenty of room, I'll pack that in just a little bit more. Because you can kind of give it a little push. I'm going to take this around here so I can work with it. Looks like a pierogi. Tell me if anybody knows what that is. Okay, I think if I've got enough. i got enough room, y'all. She folded it over. I believe her name is Kathy Southern Cooking something. Something like that, y'all. This one's not easy, but it was like a 
you just basically fold it over the edges and you're kind of tucking them in. See how, see how I'm doing that? Can you, can you see that y'all? Let me show you. Let me show you. Can, I, can you see it? See, I've kind of folded it over. Okay. Now hold on, hold on. Oh, y'all right there guys. <laughs> it kind of slipped out. My camera kind of slipped. So you stay there. Okay. And just let me tell you what I'm doing. I've got that folded over as you did see, and now I'm gonna now I'm gonna press. And that kind of do I need to mm, it doesn't want to crimp the way she showed me. What am I doing wrong? Okay, it's doing it now. It, just crimp it. I don't know if that's what that's called with the fork. That's what I'm calling it. You know, I hope you're understanding that you don't have to be perfect to, to actually be able to do something and create and and learn. Learn from your mistakes. If you don't, you're gonna repeat them. So we got another one. So I've got two of them done a little bit differently. One's folded over and one's not. And I'm telling you right now, the one folded over is not gonna ooze out. This one looks like it's gonna ooze out a little bit. So I might cook that one last. Okay, now I've got three more to do to fill and then we'll get the grease a going. The oil are going. I shouldn't say grease. I'll go oil are going because we're going to deep fry them. And I'll show you that. But let me get this done. You don't need to. You saw how I did it. I'm gonna, I think I want to do the rest of them in the folding way so they'll be nice and sealed. Okay? I'll get them done and I'll see you in a minute. Or a second for you. Or not. You know. <laughs> okay, y'all. I've got four of these bad boys made up. They're a little soft, so I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator while I'm getting my oil prepared. Now, as far as your oil goes, you can use whatever you want. Peanut oil, uh, vegetable oil, which is what I'm using, kind of a form of Crisco. I'm gonna put it in a, I think I'm gonna put it in my deep skillet that I have here. You're gonna want your oil at a nice medium to high temperature. I don't know what exact temperature you got. If you got any bakers in there, let me know what the exact temperature is. So people like to use thermometers, but I'm just going to wing it. So right now, I'm going to let these just kind of put in the refrigerator for a good while. So they'll get a little bit harder um, and they'll be a little bit easier to cook. I don't know if I should do the refrigerator or the freezer. Hmm. I don't want it to be uh, too cold. But yeah, they're just a little kind of doughy and soft. So yeah, just the refrigerator. Since this will be a little bit easier to handle and um, get that grease going. So I'll meet you back here in just a sec. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is my pan here. It's uh, got quite a bit of oil on it because again, you can, we're gonna deep fry. I got my pies back out and I'm gonna, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're just gonna kind of ease it in. Be careful, y'all, be careful, be careful, be careful, huh? I think I've got enough. Not sure it's quite hot enough. Let me let me turn it up just a little bit, y'all. Cause you want you're gonna be deep frying. Now you can bake these. You could also put them in the deep fryer. I'm not in the deep fryer. Duh. In the air fryer. So if you've ever cooked these in the air fryer, let me how they know that how they come out. Cause I think that sounds really good. Uh, Cause I almost did that, but I was challenged to do this. So here we go, Rita. So yeah, that's heating up. I can, okay, going in. <laughs> Good luck, little bay. Okay, let me make sure I got enough oil. Yep, and it's starting to. It's a, it's a it's a sizzling. It's, it's it's a bubbling, and that's what you want. I don't know if you can hear it. But it is. It's got like a little bubble, bubble, bubble. Now, I've got enough room in here to go ahead and put two of them in here. Actually, I'm going to put all four in. So, be careful dropping them in. I still think I can turn it up just a little bit. You can always turn it back down a little bit, right? Next. Oh, they're all swimming nicely. Now, this is the one that's not crimped like the other one. Or folded over, I should say. They're all crimped. But can you all the color of the oil and the pies are the same, y'all? Let me move you over here. 
so you can see a little bit, and I'll try not to drop you. Can you see a little bit already? See how pies, I'm gonna get me a couple forks. Oh yeah, and they'll, they plump when you cook them. But yeah, I don't know if y'all can see them that well. Okay, now we're just gonna cook these bad boys until they're brown and then we're gonna turn them over. And I'm gonna use two forks, because that's something else I saw. Oh yeah, they're getting crispy on the bottom, y'all. Woo! Just be careful around the oil, okay? If you're not used to cooking like this, just be careful, okay? Let everybody know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to turn that one over, but y'all look, see, it's already getting brown, so I'm flip you back, flip you back, flip you back. Oh, don't touch it, no touchy, no touchy. <laughs> that one's kind of coming open. I can't help it, I wanna overfill them. They're not gonna be beautiful, but they're gonna be yummy. So yeah, uh, let me get to cooking on these. You don't wanna be wasting your time, and I'm gonna flip them over here in just a minute, and then let them cook on that side. And then we'll get to draining them, and oh, I'll show you what to do with it. <laughs> now y'all, I'm flipping them over, and I, I find just my fork flips them like that. Look at look how brown that is. Can you see all? I let you see it. See, got some brown. Okay, we're gonna do this one too. Come on now, flip away. Ooh. And then one more. Yeah, the fork helps quite a bit. Y'all, I'm gonna take it down there. See how nice and brown those are getting? Oh, they're gonna be so good, y'all. Now, I wanna show you. I've got me a pan. Ooh, I don't want to mess that too much. But see, I've got me a pan over top of like a lasagna pan to drain with. Because I want these bad boys to be nice and crispy. So you got to get that oil away from them. If you put it on a paper towel, this is Karen Southern Cooking, I think's her name. Karen's Southern Cooking, I think's the name of her channel that I saw. This was her idea. Um, she said, you know, if you put it on a paper towel, it'll still absorb that oil and it won't still be as crispy. So I'm listening to that. Between her and Rita, these things should be so good, y'all. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So yeah, I'll get these out in just a sec. Hey, y'all, they're done. I'm gonna turn this off. Be careful. Okay. And I'm just gonna take both my forks and just guide it over here. See it right there. Yes, sirree. Y'all, these were so easy to make. We're still going to, we don't, don't go nowhere. Now we're going to show you what you're going to do on top of it. Again, you can put anything you want. Okay. Now, excuse me. Well, I uh, move that oil on back here. Thank you very much. Okay, now you see them. Look, look, look at them bad boys. Those are beautiful. Now we're gonna let them cool just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And then I'll show you what we'll put on top, okay? I'm getting it. Okay, now on top here, I've got some confectionery sugar. So sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Okay, a little sprinkle. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Love that. And see, so they're drying, so that'll, mm, that'll hear onto it. Now, if you want to, go put just a little cinnamon. Just a little. Can you see my fingers? Just a little. Just a little. Just give a little. Okay, now, take our forks. Oh, God, you guys, I can hear the crunchiness. Flip them over. Flip them over. Flip them over. Flip them over. Two forks. Beautiful idea. All right. Give a little, give a little shake, 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 shake your booty. Oh, I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay. Okay. There's that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. How much? A little bit. Right. Okay. Cool. 
they've got to cool. Now I'll meet you back here and we'll have a taste test. They ain't gonna be beautiful, but they're gonna be good. Look at that. Oh, they're gonna be so good. I mean, I can't wait for them to cool down. Mmm, yummy to the yum yum. Oh yeah. Okay, y'all. This is my fried apple pie. If I turn it around here so you can see it. it turned out shape-wise pretty good. It's even. You can hand it. Oh, it's going to be a little warm on the inside, but I can't wait any longer because I know it's going to be so yummy. So, cheers. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. That is so yummy. Oh, yummy to the yum yum. Seriously. Mmm. And the sweetness. Y'all don't need that plate. Let me... Adjust you up just a little bit. That's a good. Crunchy. Mm. I can't wait for my mom to try this. I can't wait. This is delicious. I can't put it down. Reminds me a lot. And I do me a lot. Back in the day, when McDonald's pies were really good, it tastes a lot like that. I'm sure for better. Flaky. You gotta try this recipe. Mm hmm. I gotta put this down. You know, all that's just good. I mean, it's really yummy. I mean, I can't. Say enough about this recipe, Rita. Thank you so much for challenging me to do this one. Mm. The sugar on the outside, just so good. <laughs> Cherry would be really delicious. The blackberry I do the, that you did, blueberry, any filling you want. Maybe even pumpkin when the time comes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. I hope you hit that subscribe button. So she'll be part of the family for when we do recipes or anything that's outside the window or maybe even some maintenance on cars and other things like that. My husband husband is full of all kinds of great information like that. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. Thanks again. Take care of yourself. Love yourself and love someone else because life is way too short. And I'll see you back here next time, okay? Take care and God bless. Bye! <laughs>